You can make a huge mistake if you get a Siamese cat without making sure you're a good match. Here's when I wouldn't recommend getting a Siamese. Number one, if you expect a couch potato. Siamese cats are amongst the most active cats in the world. Sure, they sleep much more than humans, but they're incredibly energetic when awake. Siamese kitties need lots of entertainment in the form of playing. Plus, they're highly intelligent and need to have their brains stimulated. Not to mention Siamese kitties are super affectionate and crave human companionship. This brings me to the next one. Number two, if you're away for most of the day. Siamese kitties can quickly get depressed if they can't be with their owners as much as they need to. A depressed Siamese can get destructive or resort to self-harm. Either way, a lonely Siamese cat will suffer, and you shouldn't get one if you're barely at home. The same applies if you travel a lot. Number three, if you live in a small or medium-sized space. As previously mentioned, Siamese cats are incredibly active. They need to have enough space to run around and climb. A medium-sized home can work if you increase the space available for your cat by placing shelves around the walls. In that way, your Siamese will have more areas to explore and will be able to look down on you. One of the Siamese's favorite activities. You can also meet your Siamese's activity needs by taking long walks or cat-proofing your yard. I highly advise against letting your Siamese wander freely as there are many dangers outside. Number four, if you expect a well-behaved kitty. Siamese cats can be pretty naughty, but they're also smart. They're bound to find ways to get your attention by behaving exactly as they should it. Siamese cats can quickly learn how to open doors or drawers. However, it's not all bad news. Siamese kitties typically act like that if they crave attention, so interacting with your cat will most likely solve this issue. Number five, if you're not willing to cat-proof your home. Unfortunately, cats don't always know what's good for them, and the brilliant Siamese is no exception. Bored Siamese cats can be easily enticed by electrical cables, dangerous foods, or toxic plants, like the popular yucca palm. It's, therefore, crucial to cat-proof your home before getting any cat. Number six, if you have very small kids. Siamese kitties can be great playing buddies for older children that know how to interact with a cat, but they're not the best option for toddlers. Siamese cats can feel threatened by their non-furry, unpredictable sibling and can even snap at the kid if pushed too far. However, all that can be avoided if you carefully supervise your toddler and ensure your Siamese has no reason to feel jealous. You should still take the time to play and cuddle with your cat, even after the baby is born. Number seven, if you're not willing to give this video a like to show your appreciation for this amazing breed. Number eight, if you're looking to get one from a backyard breeder. First of all, I highly recommend adopting a cat instead of paying for a pedigreed one since there are millions of cats in need of a home. Plus, Siamese-like cats can also be found in shelters. But if you're determined to get a Siamese kitty, please avoid backyard breeders. Many unauthorized Siamese sellers keep their cats in horrendous conditions and even allow sick individuals to breed. It's a risk that's not worth taking. Number nine, if you can't afford to care for one, Pedigreed Siamese cats can be pricey to purchase, but that's nothing compared to the breed's lifetime costs. Even if you get your cat from a shelter, which I highly advise, you should still make sure you can afford to care for one in the long term. Remember, food and vet bills can quickly add up. Number 10, if you want a quiet environment. Siamese kitties are quite the talkers. They can't wait to tell you everything about their days as soon as you get home. Besides that, Siamese kitties can be pretty loud, especially if their needs aren't met. I love a chatty cat, but please be sure it's what you also want. Number 11, if you're not committed, Getting a pet is a huge responsibility, especially since cats can live up to 20 years. You should get one only if you're determined to take proper care of your cat, like sterilizing and regularly visiting the vet. Also, you should be willing to take your cat anywhere you go, even if you move across the state. There are far too many abandoned, suffering cats already. Please consider subscribing if you're into Siamese cats. And now, I highly suggest watching this video to learn even more about them. See you there!